you're just tuning in, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. My friend Brish of Brandon Veely from Juniper and Watson Doran from Hickory Hill Milk or Farm, whichever mm -hmm. one you prefer. They're here, they're taking over the kitchen and what we're calling the local table, right boys? That's right. right. We're uh, here. I love it. Happy so to I'm be gonna here. be sitting here just watching you guys do magic. Cool. <laughs> um, well, we had cooked our potatoes. Okay. So we did um, sweet potatoes and we did a Peruvian purple potato, which is That's super fabulous. good for you. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and get our dressing mixed up and uh, add our potatoes to it and, and finish up our potato salad from there. Um, so I told you healthy because it's really good for you. So we're going to add a little bacon because I feel mm. like bacon's great in potato salad and it, and it balances out. Exactly. So we're going to add a little bit of bacon to it. Um, but we're doing, and the, the feature here is Clemson blue cheese. Um, phenomenal product. Delicious, delicious blue cheese. And it's local. It's from Clemson, South Carolina. Yeah. Watson provides all the milk for Hickory Hill Farms, provides all the milk for Clemson blue cheese. Right. Yeah. And then they do what from there? We manage the production and the distribution for Clemson Blue Cheese. So uh, I'm gonna a couple mix of days while a you're week, telling us. We carry the milk uh, straight from our farm to Clemson. Wow. And Anthony Pounders, our cheese maker up there, has been there 18 years. And uh, Anthony is a master cheese maker. He um, turns the Clemson, the uh, Hickory Hill milk into Clemson Blue Cheese. The milk that we carry up there on Mondays and Wednesdays takes six months to actually have the finished product, so there's wow. quite a bit of time in the aging process. Um, a lot of people associate Clemson Blue Cheese with Stump House Tunnel. That's where Clemson Blue Cheese was originally aged for many years. Which is the story I always heard was mm -hmm. Clemson Blue Cheese is aged in a cave, and I always thought that was kind of a neat story. Yeah. But Watson yeah. has since re-educated me on right. that. Um, <laughs> still but a very cool story. It yeah. is. It is. Um, Clemson started making blue cheese in 1941. And uh, the cave at Stump House Tunnel was the perfect temperature and humidity to age blue cheese. So from 1941 until 1956, that's where the university aged Clemson blue cheese. Wow. Well, this is looking good over here. It is. This, it's this is just smelling the mix, really good. And it smells good, absolutely. It does. Basically, <laughs> I took some fresh minced garlic okay. and some Italian seasoning, just some dried Italian herbs, and a little bit of local honey and some red wine vinegar. And I put those in here. Then I just kind of slowly drizzled in the olive oil because this is an emulsion. And basically, you're taking two things that don't really like each other and you're trying and to get them to come together. together. Um, so, oil and water, vinegar and oil. Um, so I slowly drizzle that in and mix it, and then to help with that emulsion, I'm going to add, I put the Clemson blue cheese in there, and then I added a little bit of mayonnaise to it, um, which helps, it's kind of like a mediator. It okay. helps those two stay friendly for a little while. So we're going to mix that up, and then we're going to do just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And that's just black pepper and kosher salt. And then we're going to go ahead and add our potatoes to it. And what a cool dish for Halloween. Very you know, cool. Playing off the colors of them. Great and Halloween never colors. never thought to use the purple potatoes, but how perfect. Yeah. How fitting. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and they're better delicious. for you. And they're better for you. That's hard to go wrong. And speaking of better for you, here goes our bacon. hey -o. So that is some <laughs> applewood smoked bacon. Oh and we're just going to mix that up. Am I doing blue cheese right? This is, I'm, I'm treating this blue perfect. cheese well, right? <laughs> right. This is he's what like, you should be doing with it. Yep, um, and he's ready to try it too, just like me. Clemson <laughs> blue cheese is just, there's, there's different levels of flavor to blue cheese. So you can get really strong flavored blue cheese. Mm -hmm. This is a very mild flavored blue cheese. It's right. real good, and it's great to just, I like to just eat it, just plain. put it on a cracker mm -hmm. and eat, eat it, it just like that. It is some really good stuff. So we got this mixed up here, and I'm gonna do just a little more salt and pepper to it. And then I have this cool little setup with dish uh, that we're gonna put it in. Yep, this little, little dish guy. that just presents really well, and it's orange. Yeah. So we got hey a little yo. bit of Halloween. For Halloween. And Halloween speaking colors. of Halloween, are you guys dressing up? Um, I, I, Not really. I'm in my costume. <laughs> hey, oh, he's a chef, he can get away with that, right? How about you, Watson? Uh, probably not. I'll probably just go not. as a dairy farmer. A dairy farmer. I wanted farmer. to be a scarecrow so bad, and I wanted to come join you out at your farm and right. help scare the kids, but I couldn't find a scarecrow hat. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. 